Well, we're down here near the base of the uh, Santitla Dam, and something a little bit unusual is going on. This about as, is about as close as I can get. They've got um, two of the tainter gates up there partially open. They're generally used for uh, flood control. That dam blocks off the uh, Chioa River, which is running right down here. Normally, there's not much of a flow in this river. I am, by the way, um, I don't get a ton of views here on YouTube, but I bet you a lot of you, or quite a number of you who are watching this, are familiar with this area. I'm just outside of Robbinsville in western North Carolina. And um, on my way up towards uh, Deals Gap Resort on Route 129. And um, a good long section of 129 between Robbinsville and Deals Gap is uh, really scenic as it runs along the Chioa River. And I never really thought about it one way or another, but what we normally see is just a, a trickle in that river compared to what's going on right now. So we've left the base of the dam um, there's the Chioa over there on my left. Um, at any rate, as I was saying, um, I think a lot of you are familiar with this very pretty stretch of road with the river running alongside of it, but I'll bet you not many of you, myself included, have seen the river like we're going to see it running today. Um, about 10 years ago, um, the TVA or whoever it is that operates the dam started doing what they call high flow releases um, recreational releases strictly for um, for the benefit of uh, kayakers rafters and whatnot and they only do it um, they have a contract that requires they do it um, about 18 times a year and today is one of those days and I would imagine there's going to be a lot of activity along the road here and I'm anxious to see the I'm anxious to see the river in its boisterous free-running glory as opposed to uh, the relative trickle that usually is allowed to run through it for many years I understand it was basically dry I did a little reading up, and um, apparently this nine-mile stretch of the Chioa between Santitla Dam and the Chioa Dam, you know, there at uh, the near uh, Deals Gap, you know, the Fugitive Dam, this nine miles or so stretch of river is one of the best um, whitewater experiences in the east. when it's running, of course. Pretty cool. the mouth of the Chioa River right here below the Chioa Dam which I'm not supposed to be stopping here I'm 
always like this view. Okay, just to put a period on our little video here, um, I'm on Route 28 on the north side of the river or the reservoir, and that is the powerhouse fed by the penstocks coming down the hill. That river that we were just looking at, that's where it normally flows to uh, generate power. But today, for the benefit of the kayakers and the rafters, it's flowing down its ancient stream bed, which is, um, which is pretty cool. That thing up at the top, that's an expansion tank. There is water in there at about the level of the reservoir behind the Santitla Dam. And that takes care of any pressure fluctuations that might otherwise do harm to the penstocks and the... Uh, and the turbines and whatnot. Well, let's go ahead and put one more period on our little video production here. I found the uh, little suspension bridge, the suspension footbridge. And there again is the, um, is the conduit that normally carries this river. Well, it's the next day. I wasn't that far away. And I thought about it last night and uh, I wasn't really putting a period on this piece until I showed you what the stream looks like normally. Actually there's a fair bit of water coming through there. Certainly not like yesterday. And they could stop her this thing up completely if they, if they wanted to or needed to. So that's it for sure. And we'll catch you all later.